Hello everybody, my name is Gatemar, welcome back for another video of Total War Attila. We're gonna continue this series, boys, let's just end the turn already. Because I think that's what I wanted to do on the next uh, video, I'm not sure. But anyways, uh, we're gonna continue our series, building up our armies. We are gonna, in this video, declare war to the Saxons, which are right there. And uh, it's gonna be fun, boys, we're gonna do our first war after uh, completing basically creating our empire in the last video so yeah in the last video we basically created our empire we did everything we needed to do these guys want to have a defensive alliance they are all the way there um, see I already have one of their territories I actually need that right here I do need that city so I can't I can't create a, an alliance with them because I want to eventually attack them as well. I'm going to need that uh, that place. So, what uh, we managed to figure out last time is that we basically need to invade this place, this one, and this one to complete our region at least in their known areas. We also need to invade this one right here. So that's what we're going to have to do in this video. Or at least try l some of them. Try to do some of them. We already have a religion thing in here. So uh, I guess I could go for, I guess, food. It's really the only thing that matters to me right now is food. I'm going to continue to build all of this. Got the money to build whatever I want, boys. So that's one thing we don't have to worry about here. All right. We're good. I'm still looking to... Okay, so we can... I'm gonna get this guy out of that. We're still looking to get um, this army to uh, to build it, build up this army. They do need a little bit of archers. We might actually get them just like two archers and stuff. Afterwards, we're gonna get them medium uh, medium warriors. No, I don't want that. I want another archer. All right, we're good, boys. So our army is gonna be completed in the next turn. This one. We're gonna go ahead and create that technology. Let's check up on our faction, just really quick. Our uh, general, well, our king is Faramun, which is 36 years old, still had, doesn't have a child. He recently got a wife, which is 22 years of age. Uh, we got the heir, which is his brother. He's actually his oldest brother. All right, he's got a son too, so okay. Should be all fine. I mean, we're doing all right. I think I'm ready to declare war. I'm pretty much yeah ready to declare war on them. Um, there is that big army that is on the water. Now one thing is for sure: if I gotta declare war to them and they they are on the water, that's not gonna be too good for me. I don't want none of that. So this army here is just to protect the south. So we're not gonna make them. We're not gonna put them in the battle. These guys are protecting the east. These are the ones that are going to attack this, uh, these guys right here as soon as they're finished. So, um, I'm just going to go ahead. We can take out that city right away, boys. So, we might as well do it. Uh, I feel like we're going to be able to do it pretty easily. So, let's do it. Let's attack that city. It's not defended. Nobody's going to get involved because there's like they don't ha they're not in a faction. So, let's declare war already. Press space to go faster. There we go. So they do have one general and one army. This is depending on how easy this is. I mean, it's the the bar is always gonna be like that because I'm at OP things, boys. I'm gonna look at the the forces in itself. If there are like more than half, then we're gonna do the battle. If there are half and less uh, forces than ours, we're not gonna do the battle. For now, there are like kind of half so they're not they would be they would need to be at least at 1500 for me to consider uh, uh consider attacking them uh, and anyways it's a fortress in the cities you know i don't want to do really the fortresses i'm not a big fan of that so let's just continue siege for now um i think we're good we got one for the east, one f that was the army for the north, that's the army for the sw uh, south. We need an army for the west. Um, I don't know boys, I don't know yet if I want to create the army. F yeah, let's create it, let's create the army for the west. 
Uh, why not, right? Let's create the army for the west. Where? Which one should we take? Which one should be good boys for us? I guess um, this guy wouldn't uh, be good at all. I'm gonna take this guy, I guess. There we go. Take this guy right here. It's going to be our army key that protects us from the west, boys. Now, uh, we're going to make him recruit some units, of course. So, just recruit a bunch of units, which we can't do for some reason. Why is that? Because this is the same... It's the same... Oh, okay. It's the same region as this guy. All right. It's all right, boys. Let's just uh, skip one turn. We're doing fine right now. We're gonna in the next turn. This uh, we're gonna have to defer them under our realm. We are gonna have to defeat these uh, these guys. They are probably gonna try to attack Flavim, or maybe not. The AI is not too smart in this game, like any Total War games. Basically, they're in the, they don't the AI in the Total War games don't tend to attack too much. Uh, you and I haven't put a mod which they are basically more aggressive or something. So. There's the same AI as the regular game. Uh, they want me to pay them in order to have a non-aggression pack. I am not paying you, buddy. You must be. You must be something else. Must think I, I'm somebody else here. Okay, let's look at our cities really quick. See what I can uh, research or build up. Do we have a religion thing? We don't. So let's create a religion thing here. There's another thing right here. More food. I'm gonna do that. I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it, boys. Okay, we're good. This uh, this guy, we're gonna put him over here. In this city. He's the one that's gonna... Oh, he's not ready yet. Yeah, that's not good. Well, it's, uh, you know what? It's just gonna make him run really quick. Make him run to the city. He's gonna be protected in the city, isn't he? Anyways. There we go. He pr pr he'll be protected in this in the city, so I don't need him here. We're gonna continue to build up uh, that army, which I really need more better like uh, archers and stuff. But I don't know how to like create those archers, those set archers. Let's see, boys. We got yeah. We can def we can actually defeat these guys. So let's go ahead and do that. They're less than me. They're still twelve hundred. But uh, I need them to be at 500 to consider attacking them. Let's just be... Uh, I have more archers than them, so let's just be protective. There we go. We defeated them. We lost only 200 people, of course. We, uh, we killed all of them. We're gonna occupy the place. There we go. We're gonna have a new, two new areas to build upon. Now, of course, we're still going to need Angelus, which is going to be my next target, boys. think uh, they are the only ones. Yeah. The, the faction is... That's the only city for the faction that they got. Uh, we are going to build a religion thing. And we're also going to build... I guess we could build a farm, I guess. It's really the only thing. Uh, no, wealth, actually. Wealth things are really cool. And we can upgrade... Our character, which is actually the king himself. So that's the army of the king himself. Let's go ahead and uh, upgrade all of it. There we go. We'll make him uh, have all sorts of stats. We're going to move that army afterwards to... Uh, if they're still there, we're going to move them to defeat uh, these guys right there on the water. So, we don't have any allies, really. I might actually... I have a lot of money, so I can do when I'm at war. I can actually call anybody in for the wars. So I can call in these guys. Can call in the Roman Empire for the war. Uh, join the war. So your offers. Okay, they can't join my war. That's not good. They're already at war with them. Um, anybody else that would be good? I guess not. Guess I'm gonna have to take care of them myself. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna have to do that, boys. I don't have any other sorts of friendships or anything. Lugians. Alright. Okay, we're good, boys. Let's continue. Do we have anything here important? He's 10 years old. No, we're good. Unless there's really anything important, I'm gonna skip really quick. 
We're already in 402 boys. I'm telling you, it's going fast when you've got the one year, when you've got the one year turn uh, type of mod. I think the Saxons are, are going towards Britain. I think they're going towards uh, England. So they're probably going to try to settle there. I can actually, you know what? I could cheat the system. That is one thing you can do in this game. You can actually cheat the system. Well, when you have the money and everything, I have so much money with the mod and everything that I could basically ask the Saxons peace by giving them a bunch of money, you know, and they would accept, uh, they would absolutely accept. Let's upgrade all of this. I don't want to upgrade this just quick, uh, just yet, because uh, I want to wait to in order to have that first. So that's why I'm waiting. Uh, these guys, I still, yeah, I need you to move. I need to move you up. I'm gonna move these guys up to Flevum, our capital. Uh, we got the same uh, issue right here. We're gonna create this. Uh, cursor G. I want you to build this. Anything else? No, doesn't look like it. I think we're good. We can put you onto normal. And let's continue to up our army. There we go. Let's continue to up our army, boys. There we go. Just like that. And we need a new research as well. Let's just uh, research this. The center, uh, standardized equipment. Yeah, we're good on everything, boys. Uh, I'm actually going to move down my army right here to uh, this city. I want to move it down to this city right here. Let's make him run for it. I guess it's not going to do too much if they run for it anyway. So let's not do it, I guess. I really want badly to get like a spy or something. But I can't get any. So that's really a shame. Oh, there we go. See the Saxons? They just took uh, England. One of England's territories. So that's what we can do. We're, we're going to move up with this city. Uh, with this army. We're going to move up. And uh, I guess by doing so, we're gonna we're gonna get uh, some of England's territory, boys, which is very interesting. <laughs> we're gonna have the Franks in England. We're into the next turn, 404. Can I build this? I, I still can't build this. Let me check if there's anything else here. Uh, there's a new building slot. We already have religion, so let's just create food. And we're gonna put you here. There we go. I think we're good here. Let's continue to build up our army, of course, like always. It's all we do, basically. It's build up our army, boys. Make sure that uh, it's ready when the time's come. Uh, when the time comes to pr either protect uh, us or attack. We don't really need to protect ourselves because we're so OP and everything. Uh, there's a rebel city right here, so. We, we're going to move this um, city from the south. Yeah, I think I'm going to move the city from the south, actually. I'm going to move them and I'm going to invade that uh, that place. We're going to take take that little city right there that's uh, re that rebelled. So we're good. And we're going to start moving you out and attacking. Oh, where where are you going? Okay, whatever. I wanted them to go to the through the the water, but I guess he said otherwise. It's the king after all; he does what he wants. I I guess. Anything else? Not really. So let's just check it out really quick. Uh, these guys only have this as a territory. The Angles as well only have this. Thing is, I'm kind of afraid to be at too many wars at the same time, because I have to f chase after their uh, their armies. And I don't want to do that. I want to split my armies into four regions. And my armies are the north are already occupied, occupied with defeating the Saxons. So I'm not gonna take out the Angelus Angles just yet. We're gonna we are we could take out these guys though. So that's what we're gonna do. Oh, and I have a fleet right here. Since when? Since when do I have a fleet, boys? I could actually use that fleet. To just defeat these guys really quick. Um, I want you to be on none. And start attacking them I guess. Declare war. There we go. We're going to declare war to the Rugians. We're going to attack them. 
Um, Alright, I guess they're not doing shit. I didn't know I had a fleet. I should have known, boys. I should have checked it out. We're going to use our, our army from the east to do that. Alright, how many do they have? Not enough for me to actually battle them. And it's a bunch of... Uh, it's a it's basically a fleet and everything. They don't have too many stuff. They have some arrows, but I don't feel like I don't feel uh, too afraid about that. Let's just do the siege for now. We're good. Anything else, pretty good, boys. So we can just end in the next turn. So basically, the Rock Solanians or whatever their name is. There are nomads and they want to join us in the war against the Rugians, which, um, yeah, sure, fine. I'll, I'll accept that 10,000. I mean, it doesn't matter. If somebody wants to join me in the wars, I'll say yes, uh, because I can command them uh, right away. I can tell them where to go and where to attack. Makes it easier for me when uh, the armies like move out to different locations and stuff. Makes it more such so much easier for, uh, for me, boys can't tell you how, how easy it makes it so let's see if we got anything else here Listen, uh, yeah we got our farm that we needed to build this guy got some upgrades there we go let's upgrade him give him max bonuses and we're gonna move out through the city we're gonna get a lot of new regions in this video as well boys every video basically uh, any every new video we're gonna get so many more experience bonuses and stuff and so much cities you're gonna see it's gonna be really easy for us in the long term so let's just attack the city there's no armies left they left basically uh, their city so we're just gonna attack them um, they're saying it's difficult I don't know why uh, they do have some enemies so see if they saying it's difficult I'm gonna do balance there we go. We defeated them. Uh, we, yeah, we, I don't know why they said it was going to be a little bit difficult. But anyways, we got that city. We're going to occupy, occupy it. We're not raising anything unless it's really far ahead. And we're, we're forced in a war that we didn't want to be at. Which I doubt is going to happen. It could. But uh, I really doubt it, boys. So we just got a new region. Let's uh, upgrade these guys. There we go. And I've got, oh, I've got a lot of upgrades for this, uh, for this guy. That's good. So, Era Emmerich, which I think is one of the brothers, is actually the, uh, the heir right now. I think it's this guy that's the heir. Let me check really quick. Is that him? No. That's not it. <laughs> I was mistaking, boys. I was mistaking. It's not the right guy. Anyways. It's the only one in battle right now, I think it's Faramon. I think he's the only one in battle, unless I'm mistaken uh, with that as well. I don't know, boys. Um, these guys... Yeah... Uh, no, I don't want to do that. Now, these guys need some upgrades. Oh, this is uh, actually another army right here. Well, I don't need that army then. Yeah. So these guys were just another army that was uh, in the fleet and stuff. I don't need that. I can't actually command the... Uh, unless I'm uh, like allied with them, I can't command them to go anywhere. So Rugens took this city right there. Which means we're going to have to move out with this re uh, this uh, army. We're going to have to move out to Duna, boys. Uh, they have invaded Sweden. So the Danes or whoever lives there are going to have to take care of these guys. Is anybody else there? There we go. Uh, our army, we can't move it out for now. I re really want to get eventually at least like spies or something. I really need that, boys. Let's get the sanitation in here. So let's just see. I'm going to try it out. There's got to be a place where... I can build some spies. Oh, there you go. Anything at all, really. A spy or an agent, anything. So we can build um, an agent. Basically, cultural agent. Or s I think it's a uh, priest in this game. So let's just build it. Um, it's not that really... I don't need it personally. 
It's just that uh, I actually need it for spying and stuff. So let's create, let's choose this one because it's the one that's the um, younger one. So I need him, I need my spies to last as long as possible. We've got uh, an attack that's going on. So that's because we were on the side. There are only 600 people. It's a city. Yeah, uh, we're going to all resolve that. Protective. There we go, we got them. I don't think we're the ones who are gonna take the city boys. Because... I mean, we were on, yeah. We were on the other side, so they were attacking the other army instead. So, we're good, I guess. Um, we need honor guards right here. We need a lot of stuff to build. We need to build a lot of stuff here. Let's build some freemen. There we go. Lots of resources to build, boys, in here. We got more areas, I guess. Over here, we're gonna start moving these guys up for uh, our assault against our assault against the Duna, uh, Duna. Basically, we're gonna get him to the sea because it's gonna be much more, like much faster to do that. We do have some upgrades to do here. Let's make sure to do those upgrades, boys. There we go. That's it. Anything else? All right. So they took out that city. We're gonna come back. I guess we're gonna come back home, boys. We're gonna come back home into the south right here. Uh, these guys, do they have anything? No. I'm still have to build these guys up. So another archer and I, sh I think that's it. I think we're good for the west, the army of the west. And we got one more thing here. We're good. Okay, my army from the the army of the king. We're almost there. The next turn, I believe, in the next turn, we're gonna be able to take out, take out this city, boys, and we're gonna be uh, living in England as well, which is very interesting. We could actually, when there's, if there's a, a place like another continent or like just like that, or it's a little bit too far, it's a, it creates a border go or anything. We can trade, we're going to be able to trade uh, regions with said maybe the Empire, like the um, the Roman Empire, so Western, so that we can actually get, like, destroy that border gore. It looks better. That's what I'm going to try to do. If there's some sort of border gore going on, I'm just going to, like, take care of it pretty quickly. We got a noble birth, so a new. A new kid. I don't know if it's a. I'm gonna give blessing. Why not? Balance of power. We got a new king. Uh, a new kid. I don't know if it's actually a good thing or not. I don't know what the. If it's a girl or or a guy. Really important to this guy. Uh, this game, boys. You want to have a ch uh, your child. You want him to be a son. That's for sure. In order to have a heir, it's a son. So we actually have an heir, boys. Nice. We have an heir at 42 years of age. We finally got a, ourselves a son. God damn. Took so uh, took ourselves forever. Now they're yeah, they're gonna try to attack us. To flank us. Not gonna happen, I can tell you that much already. But uh I mean if they think they have a a chance against us, they can try. It's not gonna happen though. We are going to go ahead and send my spy over here. He's going to spy the region over here where that uh, the Empire possesses, the Ro uh, Roman Empire possesses. Anything else? Now you're going to probably see as time goes by, you're going to see a lot of cities the, trying to rebel themselves out. And this is where we're going to come, uh, come in, where we're going to take those cities from behind. Because the Roman Empire is going to collapse on itself because of rebellions and stuff. Unless it doesn't. So far, it's been good for them. We're good here. We don't have to do anything. So, we're just going to auto-resolve. Balance. Uh, no, actually protective. There we go. We didn't lose too many. We're going to occupy this place. We're going to rebuild. There we go. We got ourselves some territory. 
Now they do have this territory as well, which means we're going to have to go all the way there with this army as well. The uh, army of the king is going to have to deal with a lot, boys, here. They're going to have to deal with a lot. Okay, let's continue to upgrade our king, his stats and everything. There we go. Next turn, we're going to attack Corinium. We're going to get that. I think I kind of want to keep that. I think I should be okay. It's it's right besides. It doesn't like it's not the end of the world if I like if I keep it. Uh, the thing is, I'm probably gonna no. It's it's gonna be fine. This army alone should be fine protecting our our place. So let's continue moving up, boys. Oh, Enyan, there's an unassigned skill from our own, one of our generals. We're gonna do that. Just like this. And I think we're good. Let's go. We're going to be in 408. We're moving fast, boys. The years are moving fast already. I'm kind of tempted. Like, I really want the Romans or the... Wh whichever they are the enemies of the Saxons to deal with them right now. Because they're moving everywhere. That's the thing I, I dislike the most in this game. In particular is that when... Once you take a city out, the... Um, the armies are just going to split up everywhere and go anywhere and you have to go go search after them basically you got to take care of them one by one and it's really annoying they just left their city that's great just left their city just like that boys just for me to attack now i don't want a defensive alliance you you got to chill a little bit here not going to get be that crazy now Okay, there we go. I think we're good. Anything else? Can we build that? We still can't build that thing. Which is frustrating. I want to be able to build stuff here. There we go. Let's move out our spy. Anything else we can build? Doesn't look like it. Uh, no other rebellions. So we're good on that. They're really going to try to attack my city right here. I already know, boys. Don't worry, we're going to be fine. We're going to be able to repulse them, uh, push them back pretty uh, easily. Uh, they've got a thousand. I'm going to auto resolve. Not going to do a lot of battle in this series, boys. I know I said in the last video that I was going to do uh, battles. But now that I think about it, look at this. I mean, I, I'm one of these 1500 soldiers i want a real battle and there's no real battle and there's no uh, like real armies to defeat here so i've got nothing so far here it's kind of a border gore actually right here going on it's a kind of a little bit of a border gore which i don't like so i might actually uh, start training play one of our territories boys we're going to create a farm here. First off, before uh, doing all that though. There we go. We're going to convert this. Build that stuff. We're going to need some food here. So, actually we need an artisan and we need some food afterwards. Okay. Our king. You can start moving up towards Corinium. The next turn is going to be able... Actually, okay, it's going to take one, uh, more than one turn to actually make him uh, attack Corinium. Okay, that's interesting, boys. We're doing great. I feel like we're really doing great, actually. <laughs> and uh, it's a little bit easy. Too easy. But, you know, it's w with the mods and everything. So, what am I uh, doing? The Rugians, do they have any CDs now? Yeah. So, if... Um, if, uh, if uh, a region has no cities left, what I'm going to do, boys, is I'm just going to make peace with them. There we go. Just like that. I don't even need to pay them. They don't have any cities left. I basically put them into nomads. They're now nomads. Uh, they got to deal with themselves. I don't want to deal with the little armies and try to accomplish them. I, I, I just want the cities. That's all I want. So we got a little bit of a border go right here. Uh, going on so I might actually start like trading places with uh, the Vene uh, Venedians 
Now the Venedians, I don't know if I can actually trade. I, I, I want that territory. In exchange, I'm going to give that one to them. All right. That's all. So they're going to get Duna. I'm going to get Oyum. It, the border guard is going to end just like that. There I go. Border guard just ended just like that. Looks a lot better. And uh, yes, a lot better, boys. I like it. I like it a lot. Now we do need to put our army that is, protect, is protecting the east all the way back to Oyum. But it's fine. Now we are also going to have to... I don't know which which war is going to be next after Saxons. I want to take care of Saxons first. Uh, I think I want to take care of the Angles. I really want to attack the Angles afterwards. Later on we're going to attack the uh, Lugans. Which are basically like the Czechoslovakians. Um, and uh, right now. So you can see we basically have all of Germany. We're basically the Germans. Like... Our name is the Franks, where it were basically the Germans at this point. So that's pretty interesting. Let's just go into the next turn. We're going to go until 410 uh, the, the year. And uh, once we're there, then we'll just stop the video, boys. Okay, boys. Let's go ahead and attack Corinium. The city is undefended. So we're not going to do a battle, of course. They don't have anything right there. So we're going to take out... Corinium, take it for ourselves. Maybe uh, exchange it. We, I think that's what we're gonna uh, end up doing. Probably is exchanging it because uh, I don't really need it. We're gonna create some uh, religion, of course, over there. It's three years of age. This guy is almost like 17 years of age already. This young boy, already uh, good for military almost. So do they have? any like the saxons now they don't have any regions now we can actually make peace with them boys let's make peace with the saxons we drove them out uh completely now what we need to do is this looks pretty ugly in my mind i mean it looks fine it's just this that's bothering me a little bit so i might actually i kind of want to trade uh, regions here what I can I want I kind of want to do is uh, get two regions from here in exchange for um, two regions uh, in exchange for these two regions right here so I'm gonna do that in the next turn boys once I'm done uh, rebuilding all of this and co constructing all of this all right so let's just do that let's just skip for the next turn so that's all that was I skipped everything else boys there was nothing really interesting in this turn partic in particular we're just going to go straight into the last turn of this video in the year 410 okay let's do this boys we're gonna start going to the water because we're gonna uh go towards our new locations we're gonna research our new research basically see if uh, any of our cities have anything we do have a general that has some points to spend there we go. Let's get in all of that. All of that. There we go. Uh, this city does... I still don't have that thing. Still don't have that research. Don't know where to find that. Anyways, let's continue, boys. Uh, anything else, really? Nope. I don't have Oyum. I have to upgrade. There we go. I have my army right here that I'm sending. I'm basically sending them. They're going to be have troubling time right here because of the winter. But sending them to Eom. Anything else? Doesn't look like it. I don't think so. So we can move our spy right here to uncover new regions. Start uncovering new cities and stuff. Uh, Alright, so let's do our trade, boys. Let's just see first what's going on. Our daughter is actually officially an adult now. She's got a portrait and everything. Okay. Um, so, we're going to do the trades with uh, the Roman Empire. Because they're the ones who can actually give me interesting territories. Now, I already have Germania. Um, what do I need exactly? Because I... It would be interesting to get Belgia. 
uh, the Belgica, but Belgica, I would only have three out of uh, two out of three. Uh, I kind of need like if there are three, that's three uh, regions as well. I don't know, boys. Anyways, let's just do some trades. Come then, speak. The I don't know which city I want to take. That's the thing. I don't know which city I want to take, boys. I could try to take Enyan. Who does this belong to? It belongs to Ilaria. Okay. No, we're good. We're good, boys. Um, so, Come then. we could uh, trade up. Right away, we're, we're going to trade up this one. For... Uh, it's either here or here, boys. So which one should I get? I think I'm sure I should get uh, Belgica, boys. I should get Belgica. For sure, yeah. We're gonna get Belgica. There we go. I'm not done yet. Uh, I want to do another trade. You are so... Uh, I can only... Uh, oh, that's right. I can only do one uh, territory, like trade one territory per turn boys so that's the only thing uh, that's that's the one thing though it's a little bit uh unfortunate so uh, you can't cheat the system basically so you gotta wait uh, things out but we do have that region right here looks better and we're gonna actually we could keep that city now we could keep it i'm really tempted to get augusta trevorum instead as well boys i really want to stick to europe right here the middle of europe instead of going into england england's not really important for me right now i'm not i don't want to focus on that too much so we're just gonna go ahead and stop the video right here i hope you guys enjoyed the video remember to uh, leave a like and subscribe to the initial video i'm gonna see you guys for the next one keep it easy boys